Here I am again, the Rick Allen Cooking Show. Uh, today we have a guest, my wife Leanne. She will be cooking uh, hot wings for the Super Bowl. Yum! Sounds good to me. So I'll let her take it from here. Till the next time. Subscribe too, don't forget. Hi, I'm Leanne Allen, and today we're going to be doing buffalo wings. Now what you guys didn't see is before I start baking these, which I'm going to bake them at 425 for a half an hour, flip them over and bake for another half an hour. But what you didn't see is I parboiled them before because they were frozen wings. If you get fresh wings, you don't have to do that. But if you get frozen, it's best to parboil them so you don't have all the ice crystals on them. So those are all ready to go and what we're doing now is I'm just going to make sure you put them on a rack or they won't get crispy. I'm going to salt and pepper them, which sometimes I don't do this, but it seems to make a big difference. Okay. Just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of seasoning salt. Not much. you got your oven, like I said, at 425. And you have parboiled these. I still think I took them an hour, though, because all we really did was get the ice crystals off of it. We didn't really cook them. So, here goes one batch. Half hour, I'll flip them and I'll do them another half hour. Okay, now we got to find a little our cookie sheet here. Okay. Is that right or not? Yeah, okay. Slip those off. Oh, nobody saw that. Okay. You want to make sure they're pretty dry when you put them on, too, or else you're just going to get nothing but water. All right, let me pour this out. I have my helper over there, but I haven't really needed anything yet. Okay. You do want to spray, do a little cooking spray on your sheet or on your rack, or you're going to have them just completely stuck to the rack. A lot of people deep fry these, but I prefer the bake because they're not as greasy and you don't have all that oil splattering all over. So just go ahead and stick all these on. You kind of got to crowd it if you're going to do it in one batch. I have done it in two batches, but then you're taking up two hours of cooking time for two batches, so, okay. This is probably about, um, I would say maybe nine pounds of wings, I'm thinking. And I paid six dollars a bag for two and a half pounds for frozen. If I would have got them fresh, it would have been probably double, at least double that amount. So you can go fresh, but you're going to get a lot more wings if you go frozen. Okay. We're going to really have to crowd these. Hi, helper. Hi. <laughs> I haven't really needed anything yet. Yeah, I'm going to for sure try to crowd all these because I only got a few left. If we have to let a few go down on the cookie sheet, we can do that. They'll just be crunchier. Yeah, you definitely can do these, like I said, in deep fat fryer, but it's really greasy that way. And you got the grease everywhere. I might not have room for every last one, so we might just have a couple extra wings there. I don't know. I don't want to crowd it too much or they won't cook. Let's leave that there for now. Have a nice little present in the burner. There we go. Okay. All right. Salt and pepper them. And I'm hoping this cookie sheet fits because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to put it on a different rack and then it doesn't cook right. We're also going to be doing fresh shrimp with cocktail sauce, but that's really not a cooking recipe. That's just sitting it on a plate from the deli. But we didn't go with the shrimp ring either. We bought our own fresh shrimp. So, again, it looked way better and we got more that way. Okay, there we go. And when you turn them over in the oven, go ahead and salt and pepper the other side too. Let's see if we can fit this one. I, this might be a longer cookie sheet. I don't know. If it is, it's going to be mad. Ah! It is. <laughs> so, we're going to have to lower the rack. And put it on the bottom rack. Alright, we'll just do this. And then we'll have to probably flip these around, flip cookie sheets around the half hour mark. So 
they both get time okay so now we're just going to set it for half an hour and flip the cookie sheets and flip the chicken wings over and I'll see you in a half an hour what you guys missed was me flipping them but they look really good since my cameraman was outside now what we're going to do now is make our sauce and I use the red hot don't use the buffalo sauce use the regular red hot original don't use the wing sauce I mean unless you want to but with the wing sauce you don't add butter or nothing so I would rather do it with the sauce okay so for every half a cup of butter you use a cup of sauce so I'm going to need quite a bit of sauce for those so I'm going to use probably a cup and a half of butter so that would mean three cups of sauce so we're going to melt three sticks of butter Three. This is a lot of sauce, but I like to leave mine sitting in the sauce for a little bit so it really absorbs it. So you can just do this in the microwave. This takes a few minutes. I usually set it like on 30 second intervals and then check it every 30 seconds just so you don't, you, all you need to do is melt it. That's it. Okay. So start with 30 seconds. We'll give this to my helper for the garbage. Okay. You want to whisk it really good, so let me. Can my helper get a big tray for the chicken? Some kind of big platter. Set it on. Okay. We're gonna get this out of the way. Okay. And put everything here. Let's check this and see if the butter's melted, which I'm sure it's not. No. See, so it's just starting, so you want to put it on another 30 seconds. Oh, and then we need to get our measuring cup out. The biggest platter I can find. That's right. That'll work great. Okay. All right. I've had this platter since. Well, I, I can remember having it when Ba was my mom, my kids' great-grandma. Um, way before, well, since I can remember. So I'm sure it's got to be at least 50 years old, this platter. At least. You could buy them now, but they're not like that. Okay, you must, almost, so you want to go like maybe another 10, 20 seconds. Let's put it on 30 and check it here. You don't want to get it bubbling or nothing. Okay, can't wait, I can't wait for this. the food. All right, that's looking good enough because when we stir it, it's going to melt the rest of it. So with a cup and a half of butter, we need what? Three cups of sauce because you got to double the sauce for the butter. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, this Riley got the big bottle of this is the Frank's Red Hot, which I prefer. All right, hopefully I got three cups here. Oh, I better have three cups. We're gonna use the whole thing. We might even not have three cups, but we'll have to make do then if we don't. Might be exactly three cups. I think it's a little under. Oh no, oh look at that. Okay, so that's perfect. The biggest bottle is perfect to make a lot of sauce. If you add a cup and a half of butter, that's perfect. Here we go, helper. Thank you. Okay, now you want to whisk this really well so it incorporates the butter. And you're just going to get like a really, really smooth. You can add cayenne pepper, but I usually don't because it's pretty spicy this way. But if you're more than welcome to add whatever. I mean, cayenne, red pepper flakes, if you want to make it spicier. And a lot of people serve like celery sticks with it and stuff. I don't do that. Why would we have vegetables? So, now we're going to get the first tray of our wings out. They're really looking good. Okay. 
And I think parboiling them really helped. They seem to cook better this time. You want to make sure you got that crispiness on them. Okay, we'll get these out in a second. Set that off. I usually stick mine in the sauce and just kind of let them set for a minute before I take them out. Just set them all in there. You can put them all in at once. It doesn't matter because you're going to stir it around. So do each cookie sheet full. Whoops. Looks like we could have melted the butter a little bit more, but that's okay. I prefer the drumsticks, but... Husband, yeah, me too. My husband prefers the other little pieces. I like the drumsticks. I like the drumsticks. Well, I like them both, but I, my favorite yeah. is the drumstick. Okay, so get them all in there. Then stir it around. And we're almost ready for the football game to start. And there's the telephone interrupting. There we go. Okay, stir that around. Let those sit while I get the other batch out. We're getting a lot of snow today. Getting a lot of what? Snow. Oh yeah. Okay, this batch looks a little crispier even I think. There we go. Okay. And since some people didn't like the buffalo wings, we're going to do some chicken strips also, but those aren't homemade. They're just frozen. Okay. All right. You can put a paper towel down if you want, just to absorb the sauce, but I kind of like to leave it plain. Let, this, let the sauce just... Those are great. Yum. And you can serve the sauce on the side if you want a little bowl for extra sauce if people want some. I don't usually do that, but some people do. It actually absorbs quite a bit of the sauce, so you're not going to have as much as you think. That's why I usually make a triple or double or triple batch. When you can see the salt and pepper on there, it adds just a little bit of flavor. I didn't used to do that, but it really makes a difference. Okay. Got our first batch done. And it's really simple, I mean, because you're only cooking for an hour and all you're doing is flipping them after a half hour. So, I mean, it's hardly any work at all. A lot less work than deep frying them. Because I would say deep frying them, you'd have to probably do 10 batches with this much wings, which would take a while. And you'd have a big mess. And I think they're just as crispy when you bake them. They look good. Thank you. This is all the sauce we have left, so you can see that oh, quite a bit was absorbed. Here's our nice platter of buffalo chicken wings, and that should last for a little while. Thank you. You can comment, subscribe, and let me know if you would like me to do any more videos. Thank you. Oh yeah, finishing product. Mm. Ma'am. Yum. Really good. To die for. Perfect. Don't forget to su su <laughs> subscribe. Can't talk food in my mouth. Till the next time. Rick Allen Cho.